we simply call this segment Capital Spotlight. We essentially put the spotlight on a member of the General Assembly and discuss some of the things they've been working on and how it might impact you, the Rhode Island citizen. It gives me a great deal of pleasure to welcome back a woman that we've interviewed many times, the Honorable State Representative Joy Hearn. Representative, it's great to see you. It's great to be back here, Dave, and thank us a lot for inviting me on. And, and I guess congratulations are in order because you've been appointed to the New England Board of Higher Education. That's quite a distinction. It's a, quite a thrill, and I really appreciate the speaker putting my name up for it and and I'm delighted to be part of what will be a great organ what is a great organization it will be a real thrill for me. Uh, tell us about that organization. What role does it serve? So that serves it encompasses all of the New England um, colleges in every one of the states and so it's a broad spectrum of um, colleges it, it helps to um, ensure that there's conversations going between the border schools and coordination in terms of programs and grants and um, scholarships. So it's really a, a broad array of issues and I'm delighted to be part of it. I think of that old cliche, give me a fish, I'll have a meal, teach me to fish, I'll dine for a lifetime. Higher ed is one of our best calling cards in our state, right? It is. It's one of our best calling cards in our state and in our region. We have an incredible array of terrific schools and colleges across Rhode Island and across New England. So being part of that higher Board of Higher Ed is going to be a real treat for me, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I, I know, too, you must be concerned about making college affordable. Are we doing the right things? Are we going in the right direction? Well, certainly this year the um, governor put in his budget six million dollars and said to the universities, here's six million dollars. If you don't um, do any tuition hikes, you get the money. So this is a, a real testament to Representative Ferry's commission, of which I served on, um, which was addressing the college affordability. Um, we still have a little bit of work to do in terms of getting kids out of high school ready to go into college, um, college bound. And that's where, you know, we're kind of working to see about making sure that kids, when they graduate from our high schools, are ready to go. What, what, what are we doing maybe in terms of high school age students, letting them get a jump start on college? Can they attend college while they're still in high school? Is, is, is that an opportunity that's available to our Rhode Island youngsters? It is an opportunity through CCRI. You can, you know, head out early in your day and take classes at CCRI so that you get a jump start in college courses. But our most important piece is really making sure that when our graduates come out of their high school with their diploma, it means something. It means that they go to CCRI and actually can start college credit courses. And right now about 75% of our graduating seniors have to take remedial classes at CCRI before they can even start to get college credit. Well, Representative Hearn, I know you'll have your work cut out for you serving on that uh, New England Board of Higher Education. I thank you so much for taking time before session to speak with us. I wish you and your colleagues in the House the very best. Well, thank you, Dave, and thanks for having me on the show. And of course, we could not do it without you. It's called Capital Spotlight. I'm Dave Farber.